Hello you awesome bachateras and welcome to a new lady styling tutorial. Today we are going to focus on five simple ways to style your turn, your simple turn in bachata. Before we start, let me know in a comment down below what is the hardest thing for you to learn when it comes to lady styling. And also, if this video will get 100 likes, I will do another lady styling tutorial. You will see the move on music, on counts, and then I will explain you all the details that you need to know. way to style your turn in bachata and also the simplest one. On count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. So this is the first way to style your turn in bachata. Of course, on one, two, three, four, right now I just prepared my hand, I just raised them up. Be careful when you raise your hands, your arms up, to do not raise your shoulder also to look like this, okay? Leave your shoulders down and squeeze a little bit to your shoulder blades. Also, when you raise your hands up, don't struggle too much to have them like near your head. You can keep them a little bit diagonal in order to be more comfortable when you are turning. So we will raise our hands on one, two, three, four, like one, two, three, four, and I will keep them up while I'm turning, like five, six, seven, eight. On eight, you can already leave your arms down. Also, don't forget when you leave your arms down, go with your elbow first, then your wrist, and then your fingers. Now, one more time slowly from this position, we will go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the second one, we are going to go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. we are going to use like a touch of our arm while we are turning. So we are going to do like a basic step, one, two, and on three, four, I'm going to prepare a little bit my hands to my right because I will turn to my left. So I will need to have a counter move, okay? So on three, four, I will go with my hands to my right and then I will start to caress with my right hand the left arm while I'm turning, okay? So from here, I will have like five, six, seven, eight, and then I go to my basic step. One time from here, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. As you saw, after I caress my left arm, I will go with my hands to my chest and then just leave it to the side and go back to my basic step with my arm styling. Of course, if I'm doing this alone. If I will do it in partner work, then I will go into the position that the leader needs me after I am doing this turn. Also for this variation, you can practice the arm styling without turning in the beginning and only after you feel comfortable with this move, you can add it to your turn. So you can stay on place like this and only play with your hands. Like I will go with my hands to the right and then I will caress my chest and then go down. And again, I'm caressing and go down and so on. And after you feel comfortable with this, just put it on your simple turn. Also for this move, be careful to have your arms like straight, 
yeah don't go like half move don't go like this because it doesn't look so good just straighten your arms and also keep your posture tall one more time from this position slowly we have one two three four five six seven eight one two three four let's see the third move on count so one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight one two three four Also, I will prepare on one, two, three, four, and then I will do the actual move, the actual styling on my turn. So I will go one, two, three, four, and then I will turn and raising my arms up. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four. Here it's very important to focus on your elbows, okay? So I will go with my arms down and I will pull from my elbows up, yeah? Until I get with my hands here and then I push my elbows in order to straighten my arm. So from here, pull from your elbow and then push your elbow up. A trick for this move in order for it to look uh, complete and polished when you go down with your hands and prepare for it straighten your arms okay then pull up until you go with your arms straight up one more time from this position we will have one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four of course, like in the previous move, you can practice your arms without turning and only after you feel comfortable, put it in your turn. Now let's go to the fourth move. on counts one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four this move is called the windmill and usually it looks very stylish and very nice when you are dancing, if you are using it in your social dance, for example. Now let's see the details that you need to know for this move. I will go in my basic step, like one, two, and then on three, four, of course, I will prepare, okay? So I will have my right arm going down and my left arm going up, like three and four. Of course, be careful to have your arms straightened also here, okay? So, in the turn, I will go with my first step and I will change my arms, okay? My left one will go down and my right one will go up, like this, okay? So, from here, from four, I will do my first step and change my hands, okay? So, five. Then, I will continue my step from the turn, six, and only after, immediately after, I will change my arms again. Then I will pivot on seven and also immediately change again my hands. From here, you can go down like normal with your right arm or you can continue with a caricia to your back or something that you like. One more time from this position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. 
This variation is a little bit harder, especially when it comes to use it in your social dance with a partner. Why? Because there is a quite big risk to hit your partner with your arms if you don't do the move correctly. Okay, so in order to not happen this, you need to pay attention when you are changing your arms between them. Okay, you need to change your arms whenever you are with the back or with your uh, front towards the guy. So when you're practicing this alone, be careful not to change your hands like here when you are with your side. So be sure to practice this alone and to really understand when you need to change your arms, okay? So here, from four, let's say that here in front of me it my, it is my partner when I'm dancing in partner work. So I'm facing him. With my first step, I will change fast my hands. Then here, when I'm with my back towards my partners, I will change again the hands. And once again, when I come back with my face towards him, okay? So it's very important not to uh, change your arms when you are like this, like a 90 degree towards your partner because you will hit him. Also, for this move, you need to have a little bit of speed in your arms. So be sure to practice really well alone and only after that add it in your social dance. Once again, from this position, we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. And we got to the last way of styling your turn in bachata for today. On counts, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. This move involves also a caressing of our arms, okay? So we will start by caressing with our right arm from here, from the chest, okay? Caressing the left arm and then I will change and caress the right arm with my left while I'm turning. Also, you can practice this staying in place and then add it on your turn. So from here, I will start with my right arm to caress from the center of my body, my left arm, then I will bring them forward and to my right side and caress with my left arm, the right one. Okay, so while I'm turning really slow, it will look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time from this position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. For this variation, you can add an extra touch with a move from your head. You can go like this. One, two, three, four. And when I start turning, I will go also to with my head to the side. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. From this position, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Of course, this requires for you to have a little bit of balance in order to succeed in doing your arms and also going with your heads. But with practice, nothing is impossible. These are the five ways to style your simple turn in bachata for today. Of course, I did them only to my left side, but everything that we did today, you can do it also on your right side. For instance, if you want to turn on one. So be sure after you practice on this side to give it a try and practice them also on the other side. 
Of course, all this variation of styling your turn can be used in partner work, but with small modification with, uh, because you are starting from different position while you are dancing with your partner. But the technique is the same and as soon as you learn the technique, then you will be able to put it and adapt it in your social dance. So be sure to practice, practice, practice and for sure you will look great on the dance floor next time. Of course, ladies, don't forget that the most important things in dancing bachata and any other style dance is to have a good posture and to master your basic. So be sure to work on your posture every day and work on your basic because only in this way you will be able to develop a style that suits you and that you like. That was it for today ladies, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it will help you. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice and let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. See you in the next video, hugs and kisses!